It's often overlooked how important good cleaning habits are when it comes to maintaining your graphics card and the rest of your system. By doing this, you'll be keeping your fans spinning longer and more quietly over the years and also keep temperatures from rising in your system, giving you much longer lifespans on your components. It's recommended that you want to clean the inside of your PC every three to six months, depending, of course, the environment it sits in. Some rooms are dustier than others, and ideally you want to keep your system off a carpeted floor. Certainly this will help with better airflow, but also avoid any unnecessary dust and dirt being sucked into it too. Tools that you'll need for cleaning your PC is firstly a screwdriver so you can open up the case and remove any components that need cleaning, a small anti-static brush, this is a great budget option for cleaning your inside of your case, but I highly recommend investing in an electric air blower. These are extremely useful for removing tough to remove dust in those awkward spots as well as speeding up the cleaning process immensely and is far superior than compressed air cans which often run out when you need them the most. And finally, using a vacuum cleaner. It's important to note that I will not be using this on the inside of the case as it can generate quite a bit of static electricity. So what I use this for is the dust filters and the side panels and cleaning up around outside the case. So to get started, you wanna power down and unplug all the cables on the back of the PC and remove all the side panels and dust filters in readiness to clean. We also wanna remove the graphics card, but before we do that, we wanna discharge any static electricity by touching some bare metal on your case. If you're unsure on how to remove your graphics card, please check out our previous video on the installation guide of a graphics card. It goes through the removal process as well. Once the graphics card is removed, you can start cleaning. First, I like to vacuum the dust filters and side panels of the case. And once that's done, I'll use an air blower to remove dust from the inside of the case, starting with the fans. Make sure to hold onto a fan head to stop them spinning as you clean. This is to prevent the fans from overspinning and potentially damaging them. I then do a whole once over of the case, checking any surface for dust and blowing it off. And if you're using a brush for this process, be extra careful when cleaning your motherboard, for example, as you'd hate to accidentally knock off some components that are loose and damage your system. Once your case is clean, we can focus on the graphics card. Now, if you have a major buildup of dust, remember that some Sapphire models come equipped with the Quick Connect fans, which can easily be removed for a deeper clean. You can also check to see if you have this feature on your graphics card on the Sapphire website. And just another quick note on your fans, if you're running the Nitro Plus series graphics card in your system, you can check on the health of your fans by using the Sapphire Trick software. Now, if you wanna learn about that, we've got another video on our YouTube channel, so you can go check that out afterwards if you like. Now that you've finished cleaning your graphics card, you can put your system back together and get back to gaming.